What's up everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Obix and today we're continuing Bloodborne. So today we have a bit of a hustle, um, first I was planning on continuing the Chalice Dungeons, but then I realized while looking through the guide for the Platinum that there's two more of Tomero Chalices that I didn't count for. Uh, the Curse and Defiled one, and then the Great Lore of Tomero Chalice. I totally forgot there's two more. And those are the considered canon ones, because in the end you have the Tumeru Queen, or Yarnum Queen. The thing is, to reach those chalices I need some materials that I cannot access yet, because I need to go to other chalices to get them. So, I'm actually going to continue with the initial plan, I'll go to another group of chalices today. And it will be the same thing, explore the dungeons, kill the bosses, I'll just record when I'm facing the bosses, because I don't think it's worth it to record the whole thing. Maybe I'll just record the beginning of the next dungeon, per usual. And yeah, let's just see how this goes. It's been a while since I last played Bloodborne, so let's see how this goes. <clears throat> I hope I'm not rusty and that it doesn't take too long. Also, I really want to get done with the dungeons. Because I want to get back on track and continue the main story. It's been a really long time since I've continued the main part. So, yeah. If I see that I start getting stuck on the dungeons again, I'll just continue the story. It's totally fine. I see you're trying to start some barbecue, my dude. Allow me to help. Okay. I thought the hinter tombs would be harder, but apparently the first one is pretty chill. It's one of those. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh. Ever since I got inside the, the dungeons, I was afraid of the moment these guys would show up. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I killed him first try. Okay, that's good. Nero is being a menace per usual. I remember that at some point one of these dungeons is gonna have a ball going down the stairs, which is gonna be fun. There's gonna be plenty more enemies, including the summoned ones. I'm pretty surprised by the fact that my memory is quite fresh about the dungeons. I thought it would be the part that I would remember the least. What are my... Huh. Okay. I have the runes that give more echoes, nice. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, that was really close, for fuck's sake. 
This would have been the usual moment of, oh wow, I dodged that so well and then I would be hit by the trap. I can tell. I really don't do those things on purpose. I just have a talent for timing, for real. But this time it didn't happen. Oh no, it's one of these again. It's one of those crazy guys again. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god. One shot for fuck's sake. Okay. I got him. I got him, ladies and gentlemen. It's all good. Oh, what the fuck? I did not realize there was this door all along, okay. I was just thinking to myself, what the fuck, this optional area is quite big, where am I going to? Okay, I went back. Alright, I've been playing for 15 minutes, and it's already time for the first boss. That's good. And I'm going back. I have no idea which boss is the first one. I didn't oh <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me Easy. Easy. Okay. Nice. The first level of the intertombs is pretty chill, and I'm grateful for it. I appreciate it that I don't immediately start banging my head against the wall. Alright. Let's go. Alright. I'll catch you guys on the next boss. Alright, I'm in the beginning of the Hinter Tomb level 2, or layer 2, and I started recording because I'm not sure if it's in this layer that the uh, rock will come falling down from the stairs. So, I just felt like recording in case that's the... in case that's what's gonna happen. But I really have no idea. And it wasn't. Okay, fine. But look who's showing up! And there she goes. Nero chan
I got a kid on my lap. I said I got a kid on my lap. I'm just gonna record this area because I can predict that it's gonna be fun. I can already imagine the, the ways that I'm gonna get fucked here. First I think the water is poisonous. Then there's a lot of enemies. Oh shit. Oh no. I really want to get done with this giant first. I don't think I can parry him though. Hope I'm wrong. He has a cannon, right? Holy shit. I did not expect him to shoot this close. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. I got the fucker. I guess all that practice was worth it. Because he had the same moveset as the other one that killed me over and over. This is blood, okay. <clears throat> this is not, not poison. Although the reds are poisonous. I truly cannot believe that these guys are so easy to parry. Can you imagine defeating these guys without parrying? Yeah, that's what I had to do. Through the whole game.
Oh. I actually thought I was gonna face the boss now, but apparently there's still an optional area. Oh yeah. And Nero just lay down on my lap, which is really cute because she never does this. It's really rare. I walked through the tunnel thinking about these fuckers, avoiding them, checking if there was any of them on the roof. And after the tunnel, there is one and I don't pay any attention. For fuck's sake. Holy shit. You're kind of not helping with the positioning of my hands though, but I'll allow it. Oh, it explodes. Oh, I thought it was just oil. Oh, shit. I'm lucky that I survived. <laughs> really? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was so confident. I really thought, okay, I'm gonna hit the red and the, the jar, but it's totally fine. It's just oil. Turns out... It actually goes boom. It actually explodes. Oh, whoa. Well. Sometimes I don't know the luck that I have. I see you, motherfucker. Oh, and you still hit me, huh? Do you ever feel like just relaxing, kicking back and... Just casually exploring some sewers filled with blood and corpses. Yeah, me too. Not yet. 
Nero is laying on my leg and it's so cute. This looks like a fucking boss room. It's so weird to have two normal enemies inside. Oh. I pressed the wrong button, I don't know what happened. What is wrong with me? I keep parrying at the right time and then I think I... I just think of dodging, I don't know why. Alright people, time for the second boss and just be aware Nero might start screaming our lungs out because my roommate or flatmate just left. So yeah, oh shit. Easy! Nice! Oh, I love this so much. Thank you from software for making the beginning of the dungeon easy. This feels really good. I beat the second level in 15 minutes again. This is awesome. At this rate, I would beat a full dungeon within an hour. That would be awesome. But I'm afraid that will not be the case. No, 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 no. Oh, motherfucker. But I died. What is this? State exam barbecue edition. Oh, <laughs> I went for it because I was just one hit away. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? So, time for the third boss. I believe it will be the last one in this dungeon. And I know it's the blood starred beast, so it should be quick.
Nero. <laughs> Nero, Nero, stop. <laughs> Ela tava tentando tentar passar a minha frente. Nice. Oh, and I died. <laughs> For fuck's sake, dude. For fuck's sake, I forgot about the poison. Well, <laughs> at least I defeated all the dungeon in the first try, which is good. Every single boss. And every layer took me like 15 minutes. Time for the first boss of the lower intertomb. And I have no idea which one it is. Oh, okay. It's over. I hope. Easy. Legit took me less than a minute. <laughs> sure. Man, if only all the dungeons were like this, it would make my life so much easier. I just restarted recording for a really stupid thing that I gotta share. I just realized that you can kick and punch on the stairs. Every time that I was climbing up or down any flight of stairs or a ladder, and there were enemies coming after me, I would always get fucked, I would always get smacked right to the floor. I did not know you could attack enemies there. What the fuck, dude. I swear, this is such a stupid thing and it's actually quite obvious to try it. I never tried it. I just found this out by accident because I pressed R2 by accident. What the fuck? I really had to share this because I'm bamboozled by this. <laughs> For fuck's sake. How many more things am I gonna find out that I never use that are actually quite simple and obvious? Alright people, time for the second boss in the lower intertomb. I know it's a madman, so it should be easy as well. Oh, that's not the madman that I was expecting. Okay, I see. Fucking hunter. He one shot me. Holy shit. Oh. 
Okay. This guy doesn't seem hard. The problem is I gotta be careful because he one-shots me easily. Alright. Oh come on, the parries don't do shit. What the fuck is wrong with this? That's bullshit. And the fucker emoted. Oh wow! <laughs> They made the fucking NPC emote. If he wins. Oh wow. <laughs> Motherfucker. I swear. It's so fun that they make them seem human. But at the same time, how dare you? Dude, for fuck's sake. Don't. <laughs> I swear, the fact that he does that shit when he wins, it's so funny. It's actually kind of interesting, I'm thinking about it. His name is Forgotten Madman, meaning he is someone who, he is someone who was forgotten in these dungeons. So I don't think he is fighting me in the, on the purpose of protecting me or stopping me from going to the lower levels. In the sense of protecting what's in the lower levels. He's just mad. And he's just fighting me out of pleasure or whatever. No! 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 What do you mean there's a second one? Oh my god! Allow me to kill the other one first, please! 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 please. No! <laughs> Why would you do this to me? I can't believe they did this. A second guy just shows up out of nowhere. Really? I really thought I was gonna be able to do it. I thought I was gonna be able to kill that fucker before the other one uh, killed me or whatever. Wow. I knew the fucker was gonna do that! Why do they always do this shit? Every time you're about to heal, they shoot you. It's not the first time. With the fucking Watchers. They did the same shit so many times. I thought I dodged. I didn't have much faith on this attempt because I had one blood vial, but I really thought I dodged that attack. Hello? Ooh, I dodged! I dodged this shot. I just thought he was gonna attack. I did not think it was gonna be the pistol. That was awesome. I got stuck! Fuck's sake, and I tried to heal, but it was too late. I almost died. <laughs> Fuck's sake, dude. So the other boy has joined. Fuck, <laughs> dude! I hate it when I get stuck. Oh, this is so annoying. Too late. The fucker just walking away. <laughs> uh... Oh! Did you see this shit? The fucker spawned on top of me. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not even mad, what the fuck just happened? 
I hate to wait for him to double wield the sword. It's the safest time to attack, but kinda sucks that I have to wait because there's no definite time, there's no definite uh, trigger for him to change. My God. Holy shit, dude. Shit, dude. Oh, I killed one of them. Okay, perfect. All right, one is dead. Oh, fuck's sake. I know you have less health, but I'm still afraid of attacking you. Because I don't know your attacks well. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for the audio and lag issues. I really don't know what's happening. He hit me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Motherfucker. Holy shit, dude. I'm sweating. The room is already really hot, but I'm sweating. This boss took me about an hour, an hour and 15, an hour and 20 to defeat. It's quite a long time. Every single other boss took me 15 minutes. I mean, 
Every single layer took me 15 minutes. The layer plus the boss. And this fucker took me more than an hour. I mean, I'm not surprised. The hunter NPCs are usually the hardest, but still. I know there's a messenger bath in this level that I have to buy something from. Alright everyone, so I finally found the messengers after dying a shit ton of times to a group of enemies in an area. I can finally buy... oh shit. I can finally buy the, the chalice that these messengers offer me. Right. So now I'll explore the rest of the layer. Spend the blood echoes and then face the boss. Alright everyone, it's time for the last boss in this dungeon. Um, I didn't finish exploring the dungeon. There's an, an optional area with materials to find. I'll do it later off camera. Because I'm starting to get a bit tired. So, yeah. Oh no, no, no. I am not excited to fight you. Really, this has to be the last boss. I was hoping for an easier one, for fuck's sake. Oh. It really has to be a fucker that teleports and has a multi-gadget weapon. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not doing much damage either. Fucking hell. Oh, why? Alright everyone, so I'm starting to get a bit tired. Tomorrow I'll finish exploring this dungeon and I'll face the boss. I'm sure it won't take long, but... What's up everyone? I'm back. It's a new day, it's a new me. Let's go try to kill this boss. I already went through the dungeon, explored what I had to explore. So yeah, it's only the boss left. And actually I don't even need to fight him, I could just finish the dungeon. But yeah, I wanna do it. Why can't I dodge that? Come on. Also, I don't like that I'm doing such little damage. That sucks. Now that, I, now that my brain is refreshed, it doesn't feel like that hard of a boss, but still. Oh, shit. I dodged too early. Okay. The Scythe one is a bit a tricky to dodge. Nero. Nero, ciao. I'm almost getting killed because my cat was climbing where she shouldn't go. But we're good, fam. We're good. Okay. I really gotta delay that attack. That dodge. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? The problem is I still cannot predict when he's gonna do the spear or the scythe. That's why I didn't dodge. I thought he was gonna do the scythe and that I was far away enough. Can I parry you? Like the other one? Oh, I, I just remembered that. I totally forgot parry was a thing. Suppose I can. I can, okay. Does he do much damage? 200, okay. Not much. Ah, oh, too early. I won't deny that I'm a bit worried about his second phase. I don't recall what his second phase is.
What? Since when is there a hole here? What the fuck? Was this a bug or was it always here? I dodged this first attack so many times. I never fell into a hole. Was that a bug? What the fuck happened? Oh, well, there is a hole. Okay. It would be so funny if he fell inside. Nero. I'm in a bit of a life and death situation, Nero, so please mind what. Mind your step. <laughs> you are a menace, okay? Nero. 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 What are you doing? Nero. I don't know why I'm so hesitant, but I have a cat trying to cross over me and it doesn't help. Nero, you're very cute, but please decide where you want to go. Please decide. There you go. Okay. He's laying down in between my legs, which is perfect. Just stop moving for a second. Oh god. You can stay there if you want. It's all good. Please stop playing with my ropes. Stop. Nero. You can't do shit. Nero! She's deaf. I don't even know why am I talking to her. Yet. Are you happy? Alright, this time Nero has settled. I removed the distractions in front of me so she will not be messing with my sweater or with my earphones. So it should be fine. Oh, what the fuck, that's new. Oh shit, okay, I see. When I'm too close to him and he does the second slash, he doesn't hit me, luckily. I suppose I'm, I'm close to his second phase, I guess. What are you gonna do? Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, I see. Motherfucker. Oh, for fuck's sake. It would be really badass if we could use the weapon that this boss has. Just imagine a weapon that is so versatile. You can change it to a bow, to a scythe, to a... Uh, axe... Everything. It would be really fun. Okay, the attack patterns are still the same. I just gotta be careful for the little changes. On the bow, this one. But the rest is the same. What the fuck was that attack? Did his attack bug into the next teleport? What the fuck? Oh, shit. I can't even 
scratch my scope. Oh, I could have died. I really thought I was gonna die again. I hate the spear, my dude. I hate it. Oh, okay. It's so slow and it's so annoying because of that. This one is... No! Oh, I hate it! I hate it, I hate it. Oh, no! Holy shit. Holy shit. That was at the last second that I reacted. <laughs> I can't believe I dodged through that. Holy shit. Okay, I st uh, okay. I finally understand what he does when he starts that attack. Okay. I got it. All right. Last thing I need right now is for you to be walking in front of the TV, okay? Alright, she's starting the zoomies now. Oh, shit. You really did that out of nowhere, huh? Yeah, motherfucker! Yeah! Nice! That was clutch! I started sweating in between my butt cheeks on that last attack. Because it was, it, that was a real fight of do I attack, does he attack, who's gonna land the attack first. Because I kept interrupting his attacks and gaining the stamina for the next one, I was out of stamina. Ah, nice. Alright everyone, so with this, this dungeon is done. 
So that will be the end of the episode of the Hintertombs. There are no more dungeons that I can do right now, except the sinister ones and the curse and the file. But those are a huge headache because they have the uh, nerfs on them. But that's something I can do later on my own time. I will not record them. So yeah, now that we finished the Hintertombs, we'll go back to the main story. We're finally going to explore the nightmares. And once I kill Amygdala, I'll get the Chalice of the Lauren dungeons, and then we'll go back to the dungeons once more. But yeah, I'm really happy that I'm done with this, so I can finally move on to the story again. It's been a really long time. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.